In today's video, we are going to talk about some of the things that narcissists never ever do. These things are things that normal people would never have a problem with, but narcissists will. And today I'm going to tell you what these things are and why they never do them. If you are new to this channel, I'd like to take a moment to welcome you and invite you to please subscribe. Also, if you are interested in the services I offer, including one-on-one -on -one private coaching sessions with me, or if you would like to sign up for daily educational and healing text messages for me that go directly to your phone, which also includes monthly group coaching sessions, access to a private support group, and so much more, please visit the link located in the description below. So today we're talking about some specific things that narcissists never do and why they will not do them. Usually we try and learn about the things they do do uh, or behaviors they will exhibit in order to detect them early on. However, you can also utilize things they do not do in order to detect these people. And the first thing is they will never give compliments. And if you think they have given you a compliment, take a closer look at exactly why they may have given you that compliment, because what you will find is that the compliment is used to actually benefit them in some way. They don't give sincere compliments because they don't want other people to feel confident and secure. So they will withhold giving uh, genuine compliments. Another reason they do this is because they do not want um, anyone's focus to be on you when in their presence. So they will withhold giving you compliments while at the same time bragging and basically complimenting themselves. Next, they won't apologize. Ever notice that? They do not apologize even uh, if you catch them red-handed doing something terrible where the evidence is crystal clear that you are owed an apology at the very, very least, but they will not give you one. The, they absolutely refuse to apologize. Why? Because giving you any sort of an apology would mean accepting accountability, and they would rather die than accept any accountability. On top of that, not only will they not apologize, but they will usually manipulate the narrative into blaming you for what they did. I'm not joking either, and it's mind-blowing how many times this actually works. Usually we believe this person is like us, and we know that we would never do something terrible and then blame it on them. So unfortunately, because of this, we entertain the idea that this rewritten version of reality must be true. Next, they will not ever give up control. Nothing is more important to a narcissist than control and power over others. They want to believe that you are completely and utterly incapable of doing anything without their input, direction, and demands. And if you try to prove otherwise, watch out. Uh, they will go to great lengths to make certain you fail. This is one of the reasons that dis divorcing a narcissist or God forbid a custody battle for your children can go on for years and years or in some cases like mine, decades. They do not care about the harm they are doing to you and to their own children. That really isn't a, a concern of theirs at all. In fact, sometimes, like if you um, are dealing with a malignant narcissist, they will actually do things that intentionally harm you and the kids because they are desperate to show that you are the one with the problems, you are the one that is sick and deranged, and if if they cannot find some kind of evidence of this, they will twist and manipulate the narrative into a reality that does provide evidence to prove this. Sometimes they will even manufacture evidence to prove their narrative is true to others. Like in my case, uh, with my ex-husband and his sister planting drugs in my car, then stalking me and calling 911, uh, claiming I was an intoxicated driver who was gonna kill someone. So when I say that control is the most important thing to the narcissist, I mean it. 
Nothing is more important to the malignant narcissist than maintaining complete control so their narrative of reality wins. Another thing that narcissists will never do is forgive you. If you are actually responsible for something where accountability is required or when you do not live up to their expectations of you, regardless of how ridiculous and extreme they are, they will not forgive you. Narcissists hold on to mistakes you have made forever and uh, will often bring these things up just to throw in your face or degrade or devalue you when they are feeling insecure or possibly even just when they're feeling bored. Every time there's a disagreement or even a fight, this thing you did from a hundred years ago will be thrown in your face. As hard as you uh, might try to right this wrong, it will never happen because the narcissist doesn't want you to feel secure at peace and they need to hold on to your mistakes to utilize in the future when they are caught doing something awful to you. They will use it as leverage for the rest of your life as proof why you are the problem, you are the responsible party, and you are the one who needs to make amends. Another thing you will never see a narcissist do is help someone anonymously. Even donations to charity, they will not do these things without trying to get some form of recognition. As petty and pitiful as that sounds to people like you and I, it's absolutely true. Narcissists do not do any good deed without some benefit to themselves. This is why you see so many people these days publicizing donations to charity or some GoFundMe plastered all over their social media accounts. This is all part of the tools they use to disguise who they truly are. So if their character ever comes into question, people will be more likely to not believe anyone that might tell others about their abusive and exploitative behavior and conduct, especially someone who could quite literally destroy their reputation by telling others the truth of what they have done. Everything they do um, is in in some way beneficial to them personally. Otherwise, they would not do it. They will not treat anyone as their equal. Narcissists want to be and to believe that they are the most successful person that surrounds them. You will never see a narcissist befriend someone who has obtained a higher level of success or wealth, uh, or intelligence, or beauty, or good looks, etc., than they themselves possess. It just will not happen. They need continual streams of narcissistic supply to feed their ego and to reflect an image back to them that says, yes, they are indeed superior to each and every person present among them. Um, to them, being connected to someone they view as superior to them in some way is worse than dying. They simply cannot tolerate it without feeling extreme jealousy and envy. Next, they never listen. Narcissists are the world's worst listeners. Unless, of course, they are trying to obtain information they need to love bomb you or to obtain information that they might be able to use against you later on uh, when the smear campaign begins. Otherwise, narcissists are completely uninterested in anything you have to say. Another thing you will never catch a narcissist doing is being polite to others. Unless, of course, they are in public where everyone can see them being polite and respectful of others. When they are behind closed doors, they are much more relaxed. And this is when you will see the true colors of the narcissist's character. And being polite to others is not a part of their makeup that they feel is important or deserved in any way. So for example, they may hang up on you without saying goodbye, or you may uh, catch them being really rude 
to people in the service industry like waiters and housekeepers. And what's even worse is that they want others to feel that they are being disrespected because it makes them feel superior and they use it as evidence to prove to themselves that they are indeed superior to other people. If you are dating someone and they are constantly cruel or unkind to someone in the service industry, that is a huge, huge red flag. And you should try and start distancing yourself from this person as soon as possible. They will not talk about deep emotions. They don't do this, quite frankly, because they do not experience deep emotions like love, compassion, shame, or empathy. So they don't only avoid them because they are trying to maintain control and dominance over another person, which is part of why they are doing it, but also because they genuinely have no idea what these deep emotions really feel like, so they are unable to talk about them because they are completely unknown to the narcissist and they don't understand how to define or explain these deep emotions. They will not ever let someone prove them wrong. And if you try, you better brace yourself for some really horrific things that are headed your way. Truth to a narcissist is whatever version of reality they can benefit from in that moment. As the narcissist needs and desires change, so will the so-called truth. Um, and they will live and die by that narrative they created, regardless of mountains of evidence um, to the contrary. The narrative the narcissist creates almost without exception will put the narcissist in one of three roles. They will portray themselves as the hero, the victim, or the martyr, and in some cases they may claim to be all three at once. However, they will never acknowledge or admit the fact that the, the true role they played, which is that of the villain, the pathological liar, the manipulator, the con, the deceiver, the phony, and the fraud. And if you try to prove them wrong, you will regret it because they view your rejection of the narrative they have created that is not in any way based in reality. And last, but certainly not least, they do not show or feel empathy for others, including you and their own kids. Unless, of course, their so-called empathy is um, in front of others or outside the house. Narcissists, as we all know, are completely depleted of any form of empathy. True empathy for others is something they just do not understand. And when they are behind closed doors and the mask starts coming off slowly but surely, they will not empathize with you. It's just not ever going to happen. Okay, that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on my other social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone.